Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn portal frame with intermediate columns. Our portal frame's total span length is 30 meters. Our y-axis is 42 meters with 6 meters of spacing. So let's get started. Begin with creating a new project. File menu, new project command and push the new project button. Our project name is portal frame with columns. I push the open button. So I select the portal frame, type 101. Our thrust length is 30 meters. Our column length is 6 meters and distance between the x, y axis is 6 meters also. Our support is hot rolled steel columns. I press OK to create model. Model is created. Now we need to add it to y axis. To do this, I click on the model and click the y axis command. So now our total length is 18 meters. We need to add some more axis. So I press the add thrust to end button. Now our total length is 42 meters. I click the apply change button to apply the changes. Now our model is ready. Let's check the x-axis. I press the x-axis button and click the thrust zero. Then click the edit button. The purling distance is too high. It's about 2.58 meters. Let's reduce it. I say NL and NR are equal and I increase the NL. Now it's 1.41 meters. It's good. Let's reduce the roof slope. I decrease the hash parameter to 2 meters. Now uh, that's okay. Press OK. To make the modified chains, I press the apply chains button. The model is ready. Let's add the intermediate columns. To do this, we need to click Columns or Restraints button. In this menu, we need to assign restraints to the desired nodes. These nodes IDs is defined by the purlins. So let's click the 6. As you can see, program make the highlight of the points and I select the column exist. You see the bottom coordinate Z it's it's 7.091 so the node ID 16 is equal so I select here and I set column exist. Then we need to apply change. I press the apply change button. You can also move left or right these intermediate columns. To do this, you need to click Edit Column Coordinates button. Let's do it. As you can see, we have two in internal columns. And the coordinates as are written here. I want to make A and A1 axis is 8000. So, I click here and I say minus 182. Then I click here and I say plus 182. Then apply change button. 
As you can see, the axes are correct now. You can also change intermediate you can also change intermediate columns z coordinates. To do this, click the columns or restraints button again and give a parameter to this. I said 1 meter and I said 1 meter also. This makes these intermediate columns bottom elevation to the 1 meter higher. Let's apply changes. Now our intermediate column's bottom elevation is starting 1 meter. Let's see the section. I click after statical analysis button and cost estimation button. Let's take a cross section. Our cross section is ready. Hope to see you next lesson.